What's up guys, it's June 5th, my name is Kelly, and this is Silver Screen Special. Each week I'm going to give you a rundown of the new movies coming out theaters, and we're going to talk some trivia, so if you like that kind of thing, make sure you like and subscribe. We got three movies coming out this week, first up is Entourage. Movie star Vincent Chase, together with his boys Eric, Turtle, and Johnny, are back and in business with super agent turned studio head Ari Gold on a risky project that will serve as Vince's directorial debut. Entourage is directed by Doug Allen and stars Adrian Grenier, Kevin Connolly, Jeremy Piven, Jerry Ferrara, and Kevin Dillon. IMDb gives it an 8.3, Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 31%. Also out this week is Spy. A duskbound CIA analyst volunteers to go undercover to infiltrate the world of a deadly arms dealer and prevent diabolical global disaster. Spy is directed by Paul Feig and stars Melissa McCarthy, Rose Byrne, Jude Law, and Jason Statham. IMDb gives it a 7.5, Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 95%. Finally out this week is Insidious Chapter 3. A prequel set before The Haunting of the Lambert Family that reveals how gifted psychic Elise Rainier reluctantly agrees to use her ability to contact the dead in order to help a teenage girl who has been targeted by a dangerous supernatural entity. Insidious Chapter 3 is directed by Lee Wannell and stars Dermot Mulroney, Stephanie Scott, and Angus Sampson. IMDb gives it a 7.7. .7. Shout out to Alice Dodd for getting last week's trivia question correct. George A. Romero makes a cameo appearance in Silence of the Lambs. Now, this week's movie was suggested by Owl Eye Books and other things and just a historical opinion, so we're doing trivia on the historically bad Plan 9 from Outer Space. Throughout the film, there's a detective that points a gun at himself several times. He was actually doing so to see if director Edward would notice, and needless to say, he didn't. <laughs> This movie was actually funded by a Baptist church, and several members of the cast actually let themselves be baptized. Bela Lugosi actually supplied his own costumes, wearing one of the capes he wore while he was portraying Dracula on stage. According to Mela Nermi, she would put on her vampira makeup and costume on at home and then take a bus to the soundstage where her scenes were filmed. The scar worn by actor Tor Johnson had to be moved every day as it caused severe skin irritation. Now for this week's trivia. What was the original title for this movie? Leave your answer in the comments below or the title of a movie you'd like to see me do trivia on. That's all I got for you guys this week. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.